Smoking causes cancer. Mobile phones cause cancer. GMOs cause cancer. Chemtrails cause cancer. Everyone's got cancer. It's just a matter of something to bring it out. As you can see, they try to look for reasons and excuses regarding things that cause cancer. But the truth is, no one actually knows they've got cancer. So they go to the doctors. The sun causes cancer. Look at this lump that I got sent in my mail in this propaganda package. And that could be dangerous. So I should go and get that checked. And put myself on a conveyor belt. That's going to lead me straight into a fucking meat grinder. I've never heard of cancer before. And cancer doesn't exist to me. Because I just got off a spaceship into this world. And I haven't even heard of the word cancer or any fucking letter in the alphabet. And I will never get cancer because I'll never go to a fucking doctor. And I have enough faith in myself, in my body and my peace of mind that they're trying to strip from me and lead me into this fucking death trap. You've only got opinions and, and a smartphone and no proof. Prove it, prove it. How about seek and you shall find. Because the microscopes are fake. The electron microscopes. Look up electron microscopes on Wikipedia. Do you know how to use Google? And look at the image that they're showing you, okay? They have a picture of this cell that they've taken. It looks like a fucking Band-Aid or a tampon or something. It's cartoon junk. And when you're looking at cells on Google, have a look at the pictures. It just looks like an acid trip. There's millions and millions and millions of different images of cells and they're all cartoon junk. Go and watch videos of blood cells and you'll see it's all inbuilt CGI, uh, special effects and computer. It's all done on a fucking computer. You'll see them take the piss out of it. Like, haven't we got uh, the most amazing technology here in the labs, all right? Yeah, the people in the labs that you trust, you go and get your blood test. Then it gets sent off to these labs. Okay, and the people who analyse it are the same people that are telling you all this junk and spraying chemtrails on you. Okay, they're the people that you trust with your life. And I'm crazy for not believing in cancer. Your nana had cancer and died, did she? How do you know that? How do you even know that? Because that's what they said, like, in the autopsy. Go and get your checkup, all right? That's fucking bullshit. Why can't you see that? How hard is that for you to fucking see that? When are you going to realise that the agenda is to make you think that you're brittle, okay? And you're under threat by all this fucking bullshit. So you need to make, like... Everything you've ever heard before doesn't exist because it might just save your fucking life and your friend's life. And don't worry about anything else out yours, outside of your existence because courage pays off if you have enough faith and confidence in yourself. What the fuck is stressing and worrying and being paranoid going to do to help you? Drinking apple cider vinegar and fasting and, and all this biblical bullshit. Why don't you go and eat some cockroaches and some fucking locusts as well? Leukemia. It only exists in like Western nations. That's where the statistics are the most highest. Not that statistics are anything to go by, but 
It just proves it's this giant Western fucking idea, all right? Look at the animals. The giraffes. The elephants. The butterflies. The caterpillars. The frogs. Do you see them getting around with fucking tumours on them? No, you don't. And you fucking won't. Because the animals aren't that stupid to go into these fucking healthcare facilities and get checkups and blood tests. And then they examine them, these pathological liars in pathologies. So, you know, the people that have told you this shit, okay? And the people that supposedly want you dead. And you can see they're trying to make up all these lies and say that chemtrails cause cancer. Okay. Anonymous say this. You'll see the propaganda. And GMOs cause cancer at their protest. So they obviously don't because these are liars. Okay. These groups and, and these protests and they're pushing this idea. Okay find the cure for cancer, these money-racketing Muppets in the street. And as I've stated in my last video, they put a lot of emphasis on the cure, okay, to distract you from the fact that there's no fucking disease. And it only eventuates once you go to the fucking hospitals and get the checkups. Only then... Are you told that you got cancer? Because you might, do you feel a bit sick sometimes? Like, what, you get a sunburn and then you go in? You put yourself on a fucking hit list. There's nothing wrong with you now. Consider yourself blessed. You heard this message on this video because nothing will ever happen to you now. The human body is extremely fucking resilient. All the toxins you sweat out of your fucking body. Do you think, the, have a look around you at this sophisticated creation, all right? And how superior and complex the human body is, all right? How much it can maintain. And you go into these liars' clinics and they pump you with all these drugs and push all this fear-mongering on you and tell you you're in jeopardy. Taking your pills and getting your fucking injections and all this bullshit, all right? And you want to throw around these generalizing effects and these assumption ideas Smoking causes cancer. Well, my grandfather lived till he was about 89 smoking a fucking pipe and died of natural causes. So that proves it, okay, that you can't fucking generalize and just say things like that. And they're telling you this. They're using that effect, all right, to fucking scare you. All this morbid fucking propaganda because they know stress. And worry is the worst thing that they can fucking push on you. People, all these fucking fitness freaks and health health fanatics, all right? Jogging around, running fucking marathons and all this bullshit. That's another agenda. The heart's like a fucking car, okay? Car goes a certain amount of kilometres. Your heart beats... Um, a certain amount of times before it stops. All this worry and fucking stress and taking on all this stupid concern about the fucking world, getting you all paranoid and worked up, all right? Drinking apple cider vinegar, that's good for you. Because why? How do you know that? Because that's what they told you in their health food stores. They told you that. Apple cider vinegar on an empty stomach would probably burn your fucking stomach out. And you drink it and it tastes fucking foul, all right? But, but that means it's good, right? You know, you don't even listen to your own body and trust your own instincts. So when are you going to fucking realize that you don't know jack shit about anything? 
and all your information and truth is just from outside sources. <laughs> Anonymous show you that bullshit, right? The disinformation page, the government, by the way. They'll set up this lung thing, okay, and pump all these cigarettes into it and say, look what happens to the lung after all these cigarettes, and it just gets black and it just scorches it. But you cough up shit, okay, because your lungs heal them fucking selves. The body is a self-healing mechanism. That's a fact. Why can't you get your head around that? And Why is everything so difficult for you to fucking understand? Where's your proof? Where's your fucking proof? Prove me fucking wrong. You expect me to be your tutor and you need me to display things to you, like on some blackboard and write it down and think for you. Well, I can't do that. It's not my fault that you don't have a fucking brain, okay? You need to understand the agendas in this world, okay? They've made you out to be some contaminated, some um, prone to disease and all this junk when you're not. Don't conform to the world, all right? You're not of the world. you got to make like you haven't heard of anything before because... That will fucking spare you and your children as well. Rather than getting cut up about me and, and getting offended over your, your great, great, great dead fucking grandmother, you get mad about and insulted over that. Instead, this is the kind of truth that could save your fucking children. Even your great, great, great dead grandmother's probably calling you a fucking fool. You need to get it through your fucking head. Two clicks of a mouse might just save your fucking life. Go on to Google right now. Type in tumours. And you will see all these grotesque, photoshopped, fear-mongering fucking images. And why? And ask yourself, man... Why do they need to Photoshop all these grotesque fucking big fake ass tumors? It's to spook you. And they're lying about it. So you're not even sus on that. You get cal the odd calcified bump on you, okay? Everyone fucking does. Like the breast cancer idea. If you're calcified in your milk duct or something like that, and people panic and because they're being told all this bullshit and the symptoms, and they they go look on their machine, okay, their machine, and that's when they fight, they panic and oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die now, oh, it's gonna spread it because that's what they've told them, getting quick before it's too, all this junk, so they do put themselves on a hit list, and then they. They test it and stuff like that. The, the same people that want to kill, they test it if it's not cancerous. It's all a load of fucking junk. It's not fucking rocket science. Not that there's any such fucking thing as rocket science, because there's no such thing as fucking anything in this world. 